Hello, my name's Sharon and this is my thought for the day. I'm reading from Psalm 40, verse 1. I'm reading from the message. I waited and waited and waited for God. At last he looked, finally he listened. When I was studying for my BA in theology some years ago, the college held retreat days every year. The college understood that although we were all committed Christians, it was quite tough to keep the inner self nourished spiritually. The retreat day I remember most was run by the leader of the Northumberland community. He appeared to have spiritually discerned that many of us were not in a good place in our walk with the Lord. He told us this story. A young monk went to his abbot and told him of his spiritual struggle to get close to God and to hear him, expecting something deep and mystical from his abbot, the young monk was disappointed when the abbot told him, go to your cell, your cell will teach you all you need to know of the Lord. The young monk went back to his cell feeling just a bit disappointed, not sensing anything. The young monk returned to the abbot, still distressed and failing far from the Lord. Once again, the abbot repeated his earlier advice. Go to your cell, your cell will teach you all you need to know of the Lord. The young monk went back to his cell, feeling just a bit disappointed. Not sensing anything again, he returned to the old abbot, who, seeing the old man, the young monk's distress, repeated his earlier advice. Go to your cell, your cell will teach you all you need to know of the Lord. After the third time had been sent away by the abbot, the young monk finally knelt, prayed and listened in his cell. Sometimes we just need to be in solitude to hear his voice. In the busyness of life, I think there are times when you may need to go to your cell in order to provide you with all you need. This is a Lent of prayer of a pilgrim to Holy Island. Linda's farm. Come swiftly, O Lord, to the dark moments when we are lost. Make us aware of thy presence. Strengthen us to resist the urges and cause deep darkness. Stir us to move away from the dark moments of the sinful towards the light of thy forgiveness. Come quickly, O Lord, as we call, not all or forget to call, and keep her close to us, and keep us close to thee this day and night. And as far as the days and the night stretch before us, through Christ, Amen. Have a good day.